the Tulster contour outside the waistband holster starts at $79.99 comes in black black camo and black carbon fiber three quarter inch adjustable ride height accommodates 1.5, 1.75 and 2 inch belt blackened stainless steel hardware features the RAS retention adjustable slot very unique retention system set it and forget it it will not come loose this holster also has adjustable cant the Tulster Oath inside the waistband ambidextrous holster it starts at $74.99 is featured in the same colors uh, there is a $10 upcharge for the black carbon fiber and a $15 upcharge for the black multicam made in the USA lifetime warranty free same next day shipping they certainly stand behind their product they both come optics ready um, the oath is ambidextrous so you could switch the hardware to either side for right and left hand shooters tuckable you can tuck your shirt in with this holster right here and conceal it appendix or strong side that is awesome half inch adjustable ride height also features a uh, multi-stage fixed retention different system your your typical uh, retention system uh, that discrete clip is made from 10 xx steel alloy uh, they feature uh, a raised sight channel undercut trigger guard minimal kydex material 0.08 inch thickness and a mid sweat guard we got our springfield xdm elite in it looks great plenty of room for that optic very good positive click love that it's not coming out uh, they smooth and round all the edges which is great for comfort um, really digging this holster so far really like this style clip um, this clip here is adjustable up and down uh, for ride height up to a half an inch it's got a nice little let's see if you can see that it's got a nice little where it'll really it'll really lock in to your belt that that baby's going nowhere I prefer to carry appendix it is a little harder when you have the wing and all that going on it takes a little moment to to put it in I experienced that with any holster with a wing some of that obviously could be me there's never a time though in my opinion where I have to run extremely fast and put my holster in I, I mean either way it all comes with training but great looking holster sits right right out of the gate you know it uh just feels good sits good conceals good everything you're looking for in a holster I've also experienced not a lot of holster companies make one for this gun so that was really nice too and they actually have it listed as 10 millimeter so there's no confusion uh, if I'm not mistaken this same holster fits the 45 other sites list just the 45 and not the 10 millimeter kind of leaving you in doubt a little bit uh, unless you do your research where they clearly laid it out I, I like that um, 
make it as easy as possible for the consumer. We have our three o'clock carry. The wing really pulls it in. Still have good concealment. Uh, you, you get the wing featured here, but it also comes with a bigger piece to swap out if you really want it to pull in tighter. Uh, I've been wearing this for a little while and the one that comes on it, the smaller one, has been totally fine for my purposes. Here we have the Tolster Contour outside the waistband holster. Once again we have our Springfield in there. Great retention, that nice positive click. Like I said, I didn't make any adjustments, so all of their holsters have come from the factory, ready to rock with the proper adjustment, in my opinion. Nice, smooth, rounded edges. Also, optics ready for an outside the waistband holster. Very minimal, nice and light. Uh, fits the gun perfectly. Once again, everything you're looking for. All right, our Tolster Contour outside the waistband holster. Fits nice and tight to the body. Comfortable. Still conceals pretty decent. In my opinion, you know, outside the waistband is at least for me in my body type, uh, when I'm wearing a jacket, when I'm wearing a uh, more of a baggy flannel, things of that nature, this shirt is not extremely baggy. So, but you know, you know the drill. What outside the waistband holsters? I will say it fits pretty tight to my body. There have been other outside the waistband holsters where I feel like I really got a wrench. My, and I wear a uh, Core Essentials uh, track belt, and I feel like I really have to wrench it with other holsters uh, to get it close to my body. And this one, uh, I haven't even done that. I just kind of put it how I normally would, and it's pretty close to the body, so I definitely don't feel like I got to wrench it, which is a good thing, because you're not going to be comfortable like that, and that that's. The biggest part of it, you know, you want something that works, but it's got to be comfortable too, or you're not going to last very long with it. All right, I'll be up front. I've never concealed carried with a tucked in shirt before. That obviously I would pull my shirt and get to my gun. But it clearly, you can take your shirt and tuck it pretty easily over the top, which to be honest with you, <laughs> I've never thought about, never tried, but Tolster says that you can do it, and I think you can. You know, training, pull your shirt out of the way, which realistically you're pulling your shirt up anyway, so I don't, I guess I feel like that would have been different, but it's really not any different. Maybe a little harder pull. Uh, depending on how long it is and how deep you have it tucked in, but you certainly could get away with doing that. And I may, I don't know, I may think about that for the future. We'll see. Let's take a closer look at this RAS retention adjustment slot. We went ahead and loosened it up, and it's made to slide all the way up to have your most retention and slide all the way down. I thought they had it all the way down, just guessing, but it turns out they didn't because that's that's a bigger gap. So we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, test that out with the pistol. So right now we're all the way down. And to me, 
you could get away with that. It's still got a pretty good positive click, not quite the click that they sent it with because they had it about, I think in the middle. I'm gonna run it all the way up and let's see what it's like with the most. Oh yeah, that's like a really, that is a really crazy click. But you know, there may be a purpose for that, man. If you're running and gunning and getting freaking crazy and hanging upside down and you know, you may, you may want that and it's still, it's still usable. Um, their setting to me, which was about right there, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that was perfect. That's where I'm going to keep it. So I think, uh, most individuals will be more than happy with the setting from the factory, but just wanted to show you how that worked. I've never seen that before, that's pretty cool. I actually like that better than any retention I've ever seen because, you know, normally you got a couple screws and you're kind of playing around with them and to their point, they can come loose over time. This is not supposed to. And having this little slider thing, I feel like makes your adjustments faster and easier. So I, I really like that a lot. I wanna thank you all for joining me today and checking out these Tulster holsters. Great company, great product. Would not feature it on the channel if I didn't believe in that. I want to also thank Tolster. I actually reached out to them looking for a holster for the Springfield. They were happy to uh, donate the holsters for some video content. I appreciate that very much, and we will see you on the next one.